Hello, this is Vampire. Um, I was asked to show the last lesson uh, of the doing the heaven six with the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. These are three different ways to do the heaven six, and it helps you with the body mechanics. So it, it is for exercise purposes. Okay, so I was asked to show you guys uh, kind of like a better angle from behind. I'm not going to do it from behind, but I, I will try to do it at this angle so you guys can see better rather than like this where you have to kind of figure out the the mirror position so I'm, I'm gonna kind of do it at this angle so then you could kind of stand side with me and, and follow along that way okay so um, first things first we're gonna start with the shoulder okay before we go to the heaven six let's kind of like choke up on the stick at least for me this is kind of um, very confined space I don't want to hit stuff, so I'm going to choke up on the stick. That's the only reason, okay? And let's go with single stick right now, angles of attack. So we're just going to go diagonal, diagonal. One and two. One and two. So I want to involve the shoulder. The shoulder should be my main movement here, okay? So in order for that to do that, make large motions. One, two. Or just imagine like you're swimming, okay? So you're making long motions using the shoulder as the main movement area, as the main joint. So one, two, one. To notice how my arm is like almost straight, big, large motions like this. One, two, one, two. Of course, we could go side to side and keep that arm as straight as possible. One and two, one. And two, and then we can also go reverse, which is going upwards, diagonal, upwards, diagonal, upwards. So one and two, one and two. So that's focusing on the shoulder. So let's translate that to the heaven six. Once again, I'm choking up on the sticks. Here we go. This is the heaven six stance. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and do the heaven six, but notice. And let me do it once again at this angle so you guys can kind of stand next to me. And from here, I'm going to raise my arm up and go one. Okay, so rather than just coming like this, in order to maximize shoulder, raise the arm and that's my number one. Okay, bigger motion. Number two comes out and leave that arm out like this, like a wing. Okay, so you're going to strike out and bring that arm extended. Number three is goes from top to bottom. It's a circular motion. So once again, we're going to raise that arm up and then crash it down like so. Okay, so we're in this position right there. That's one, two, and three. So now we're in the same stance on the other side. So this is where our four, five, six comes in. We're going to do the exact same thing, but from this side. First, raise the arm and come crashing like so. That's your number one. Number two comes out and then bring that arm so you extend that arm like so. And then, um, sorry, that's number five. And then number six is you're going to bring that arm up and it makes this big circular motion and parks here. Okay. So let's go again. So that brings us back to number one. So raise that arm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three four, five, six, big motions, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, here, I'm, whole, I'm trying to keep this angle here for you guys, so from here, starting position, raise that arm, one, two, and then here's number three, notice when I do my number three, I really extend out, okay, and then same thing for number four, raise that arm, four, five, extend it out, number six comes crashing down like so, okay? So that's with the shoulder. Next, we're going to go with elbow, okay? So for the elbow, it's going to focus on this motion right here. So not this kind of motion. You see, this is shoulder. I'm using, I'm using everything is coming from the shoulder. Now it's elbow, so it really focuses on this movement right here. The opening and closing of the, show, of the elbow, sorry. 
elbow joint right here. So that's the focus, same starting stance, okay? And we're gonna go number one and boom. See, that was focusing on that elbow. Number two extends and then it folds. Number three extends and it folds and it parks down right here. Next is four, five, six. So same thing from this side, extends, folds, extend, and fold. And when it folds, look at this. This is the parallel sticks position for number five. And then number six is extend, and then it folds, and it parks underneath. And that completes the, uh, the heaven six. So we'll, we'll keep going again. So from this position right here, okay, the hand on the top, you extend it, and then you fold it and it wraps around your neck like a scarf. Next, number two, it extends and then it folds. And here is your parallel sticks position. Number three goes from top to bottom, so it's gonna go right here. It, my arm extends and then it folds. And then four, five, six now, because we have the stance again. So for number four, extends and it folds. Here's the scarf, number five, Boom, extends, and it folds. Here's parallel sticks. And then number six comes from the top. So you're going to extend the arm, and then it folds. And there you go. Okay. So I'm going to speed that up just a little bit just so you can see what it looks like. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So next, we're going to go to wrist okay so for the wrist it's i think it's easier if you go actually go all the way to the bottom of the stick okay go all the way to the bottom of the stick like this and instead of holding it like so the stance like this we're going to come here okay so we can kind of focus more on the wrist motion and this one is very similar to the elbow to the elbow one that we just did so you're gonna be uh, using your wrist motion, this down and up motion. Technically, this is, this is the main motion, down and up, down and up, okay? So we're gonna be using that same idea as the elbow one. So from right here, okay, you're gonna go open and then close it. That's your number one. You, we make the scarf, same thing, but first we're gonna go open, so we extend the, the wrist, and then we park it right here, okay? Number two, same thing, boom, and it comes right here. This is your parallel sticks. And then number three comes from top to bottom, it goes crashing down, so here, and then like so. That's it, very minimal in movement. Next is four, five, six. So right here, strike and park it. Five is strike it and park. And then number six, strike and park, okay? So same idea, same idea, it's still heaven six. One, two, parallel sticks. And number three, top to bottom. Okay, so it comes, right now it's on the top and it's just gonna park itself down here. Okay, so next is four, five, and six. So number four, boom, here's your scarf. It just went from this side of your neck to the other side of your neck. So you just, boom, but minimal movement, just, just with the wrist. Number five, is you want the parallel sticks position, boom, right here. See, parallel sticks, number five again, here. So I went out and back. And then number six, top to bottom, extend the stick and then park it right here. So let me make that a little bit smoother. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, when you get even smoother right now, just for teaching purposes, I'm trying to make it very clear where the stick starts, when it hits, and then when it parks, okay? The starting position, you're striking, and then the parking position. So it's three different points, one, two, and three, okay? I'm making that very clear, but when you get smoother, it's one motion, okay? You don't go like that, okay? It's just gonna be boom, like this. So when you make it smoother like that, this one, two, three, four, five, and six turns into one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Because I already know where it starts. I already know where it hits. I know where it parks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is what happens. Okay, it becomes it becomes a lot more smoother like this. And that's mainly with a wrist motion. Okay, so as you guys get um, more and more more smoother, then you can start doing it like that. But for the beginning, I highly recommend focus right, you know, where it starts, which is right here on this side of my head. I attack, and then I park it on this side. Next, number two, I start right here, tick from this side of the body, strike out, and then it parks to where it's parallel sticks. And then number three, strike out, it goes, it was on top, now it goes on the bottom, okay? So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care folks.